Hey everyone, uh, we're doing a frame off restoration on a 1966 Chevrolet Impala SS. This car came with the original 327 small block Chevy engine, and we're going to be doing a rebuild on that. And it also had the uh, two speed power glide in this, in this car. Uh, but we're actually going to swap that out for 700 R4 once we, once we get to that point anyway. So what we're going to do actually for this uh, first video is just do a walk around and just show you what we're, what we're working on and basically what we got to do. All right, so uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to start the trunk area here. Uh, trunk floor itself is actually in really, really solid shape. Um, for the major, for the most part, let's put it that way. Uh, there's just two spots. I'll show you one here. This is on the right side, and you can actually see the hole is right through the bottom. All right, and it's basically the same thing on the other side, where it's all rusted out. Both those spots are right over top of a body mount area, a uh, body mount support, and uh, you'll see that once we flip the car up. And I'll show you what that, that looks like underneath. But that basically, right there is uh, why we took her off off the frame, um, and uh, needed, to, needed to do it this way. Not every restoration needs a needs a frame off, um, but in this case, yeah, it makes just makes it that much easier. So, but other than that, the rest of the, the rest of the actual trunk floor itself is in really good shape. Uh, just needs cleaning up, um, and uh, primer and paint, of course. And uh, once we once we get to that, uh, so basically, what we're going to be doing is you can actually order just the this section of trunk floor, the right side as well as the left side, and then and it reaches from about you know, somewhere about here, all the way up to just where it up goes up and over the over the top up there up and around the wheel well and so we'll just all we're going to do is just cut out what we need to and then splice in what uh from from the new piece what uh only what we need to so anyway um other than that uh, the trunk lid itself is actually not bad it's just the the, uh, the seam the leading edge seam always 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 a bad spot right here and uh so not quite sure whether we're gonna maybe look for another trunk lid. Uh, that might be just that much easier. Um, and uh, we can just re just up and replace this one. Uh, but other than that, you know, the trunk itself, the trunk lid itself, is in good shape. So uh, what we're gonna do now, I'll move around to the back, right on the back, and right here, uh, you can see this kind of this lip. Basically, it's a it's a filler plate. Is what they call it, a bumper filler plate. So it just just fills in the space between the body and the bumper itself, so you know there's no gap or whatever. Um, definitely, somebody's been wrenching on this car before. Um, there's a few dents, and dings, and all that. Need a little bit of hammer and dolly work to get it all straightened out. When uh, when I took the bumper off, I found that actually this piece here had been pounded flat right against the body. And I'm pretty sure it's because on these cars, in order to take the bumper off, you actually take the end sections off in order to miss this. So, um, so basically, I've, I managed to straighten out. Uh, not too bad, but I'm gonna again a little hammer and dolly. Uh, we'll get that all straightened out, all flattened out, and uh, looking pretty again there. So, all right, and. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to flip it up here and uh, we'll be able to take a look and see what's going on. Okay, so now we're getting into the nitty gritty of things here. So definitely need the quarter panels done. Uh, this is the right rear quarter. And you see she's pretty much all gone all along the bottom. Uh, usual spot. And up and over the up and over the fender, or wheel well, sorry, here. And then down, uh, got a nice hole right there. And then uh, it basically... It meets the it meets the the uh, rocker panel right here. Um, you can actually see there's that's a lead filling right there. Uh, at first I thought it was a might have been it kind of almost looks you can almost see it looks a little bit bulged up there, but I thought it was rust. But no, nope, it's just the that's just lead filler covering that seam. So we'll get that all cleaned up and and, and uh, smoothed out. Basically, what we're going to do on this one, and it's basically the same on the other side as well, is the one we're going to try we're going to keep. The original body line uh, because it's nice and straight up here um, everything's, everything's looking good 
up this top, up the uh, along the body line there. And so what we'll do is I'm actually going to cut it about maybe say about two inches down from the original body line, so we can keep that nice straight edge. And uh, we'll uh, we'll flan we'll use a flanging tool. We're going to actually flange this and uh, get the uh, get the new body get the new uh, quarter panel in and uh, cut the quarter panel where we need it and just weld her straight in. And uh, that'll get that fixed up really pretty good. Um, definitely going to make it, and I'm going to take it from all the way from the back to the to the right to the front, right to the front area. I'm just going to replace this whole thing, and that'll clean that up. Um, the uh, the wheel well itself is actually again is really in good shape. Um, got a little bit of a little, bit of little spot right there, or to, it won't take much to weld that in. A little patch right in here. The rest of the wheel well, again, solid. Um, this is all the original undercoating um, that the car had. Um, there's only a few spots that kind of flaked off here and there, but the rest of this is like, it's rock solid. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, down around near the uh, near the back, though, again, there's this piece right here. Um, gonna have to put in a little patch piece just, just, to, just to, you know, finish it off here. Take this piece, we'll splice in a piece right there and weld that in. And uh, right behind here, this is the mount area that we were talking about. Um, the reason why we, reason why we're doing the frame off. So uh, this whole, this whole mount piece right in through here. Um, we're gonna, you can actually buy this piece. Um, so we're gonna basically cut this out, and uh, and then. Once this is out, then we can just cut out the piece of floor that needs to be replaced, and we just cut out what uh, what we need from the new parts that come in. We'll weld them in there, uh, get the floor in, you know, fix the wheel well, get this back up in, you know, and then uh, spot weld all that back together, seal her up, and she'll be all good to go. Uh, for the quarter panel, um, like I say, you know, going to be. Uh, putting in a whole new quarter panel. Um, this piece here, um, this, this is plate here. It's called a trunk drop down. Um, it's we're probably gonna I'm gonna end up replacing that just just so it's all square and and still in good shape. Um, this one's is not quite as bad on this side as it is on the other side. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll replace this trunk drop down piece as well, and just so it's. It'll all be uniform and we'll not have to worry about uh, the rust anymore down in that corner. So uh, yeah, um, I'm going to move over to the, towards the rocker panels here. The rocker panel itself, really good shape. Um, solid all the way down, there are no holes. Surface rust mainly, it just needs to be cleaned up and treated. See, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, I've already been in and uh, washed out, blown out all the dust and dirt that was inside there. And uh, we'll uh, we'll use some uh, we'll use some internal uh, frame coating inside the rocker panels. Uh, I've seen a few guys do that. I think it's a good idea. So that'll help to keep the rust out of her when she's all done. Like that. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, surprisingly, surprisingly good shape for the age of the vehicle, um, and they've never been replaced um, on either side. Uh, the floor, move to the floor area here. Again, as you can see, the floor itself, not a thing wrong with it. It is absolutely in great shape. Still got the original undercoating on it here. Um, some of these bare spots you can see, this is just from where the, uh, uh, I guess in this area, the your transmission rear seal and all that, that's just where that was leaking and just oil soaked all the undercoat. And uh, it just basically, uh, with, it just basically came right off. Um, but floor is solid. All we'll have to do is just finish cleaning that up re-undercoat uh, re and 
she'll be she'll be good to go. No problem. We've actually already been, I say we've already been scrubbing on it. Uh, got a got a lot of dirt and crap off of it already. You can actually kind of see right there. You can kind of see where we've already been cleaning from the spot we've been cleaning up to where we still got to get some scrubbing done. Uh, but uh, this was definitely a oh we were good three hours, three four hours just just solid scrubbing with uh, you know wire brush wire wheels on the on the drill and all that and getting this all cleared out um, but so far been pretty impressed with what we've seen as far as what work we got to do then with the floor there's not a hell of a lot except cleaning up um, these support pieces here um, again we got them all cleaned out all the dirt and everything's out of those and uh, just like with the rocker panel well, we're going to do a do a uh, internal frame coating inside those just to just to get them uh, protected because we definitely don't want to be doing this again that's for sure um one spot to mention i've mentioned this is on the bottom of the driver's side uh, rear floor area um, this is just one of those um it's just like a floor there's just a floor plug so um this, kind of like this one here. This one's this one's loose. Um, so we're going to be replacing these. But um, this side here, you can kind of see where it looks like the floor got hit off the ground or something like that. Anyway, it's got a dent in there. But uh, a little bit of hammer and dolly work, and we'll get this all straightened out. Put a new plug plate back in on the side, on the inside. Weld it up, seal it up, uh, seam sealer, and uh, the floor will be good to go. All right, and so moving, moving towards the back, basically same same deal. <clears throat> we're still in the we're still in the phase of scrubbing her down, getting everything cleaned up. Um, this is back towards this one. Well, this is over top of the where the gas tank would go. Um, she's all again trunk floor. Really good shape, really, really good shape. Like I say, um, we're more than impressed with with uh, how with what shape the car is actually in for the age of her. And so, and then this side, uh, basically, everything that basically needs to be done on the right side, we need to do on the left, on the on the driver's side. Same thing. So, I'm going to replace this body mount area right in through here. This is one of only two bolts. That broke as when we were taking her all apart. Um, I'm surprised that there wasn't more more broken bolts, but only two, uh, so not too bad. And then uh, this is the back side of the trunk uh, drop down on the driver's side. You can see where it's really rough. And so uh, again, same thing on the driver's side. Uh, trunk drop down, quarter panel. And uh, that mount area, and uh, a little bit of work on the little, little bit of work on the uh, fender well. Not too much. Uh, the uh, won't be so bad. Won't be too bad. She'll she'll be she'll be in good shape when we're all done. All right. So what we'll do? I'll uh, flip it down, and we'll do a quick quick look around the the inside of the car, and show you what we're doing in there. Okay, so as you see, we've already stripped out all the interior. Um, bunch of cleanup to do still. Uh, always, uh, I think sometimes I think the cleanup is is like the hardest part, just to get to the point where, okay, yeah, you can start, you know, priming and sanding and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so again, floor is in really good shape. Um, show a little light on the subject here. Still in really good shape. You can see surface rust here and there. Uh, there's that. Is that plug we were just talking about? Uh, we just need to straighten the floor out a little bit. Uh, but not too bad. Get that all scrubbed down. Uh, this is the this plate you can see here. Plate. This plate you can see here. This is basically it's just a it's just a floor plate, and it just seals against the floor. Uh, so. Um, this one's actually still in good shape, uh, so we'll just need to get a new one for the other side. Uh, but uh, we'll get them all cleaned up and 
uh, resealed down and uh, welded down in there. Uh, one spot to mention on the floor. Right up here, this is on the passenger side. You can kind of see right here. Old spot. She's just rusted out. That spot on the floor there is right behind the right front body mount. And it's, all that's happened is it's just where the crap has gotten in behind there and it's just sat there and it's just basically rusted it out. Um, and for this, all we'll need to do is just basically cut a nice square piece, nice and square, put another one back in, spot her, you know, get her, get her welded back in, and that'll be all. She'll be good to go again. Um, other things that we'll be doing, uh, seam sealer. All kinds of seam sealer. I'll see, sir, where all this, it's just crumbling and dried out and all that. So pretty much, pretty much every seam that we find is going to be scraped off and new seam sealer applied all around. So definitely going to be, uh, she's going to be a labor of love for a while, uh, to say the least. But, uh, but she'll get there, she'll get there. Uh, dash, um, basically, again, script down. Uh, we'll repaint the dash, uh, the, the metal part of the dash anyway. Um, we want to, uh, we want to actually repaint the car uh, a nice metallic midnight blue. Uh, I've seen a couple of cars in that, in that particular shade and it looks really, really good. So uh, I think that's what we're gonna do too. Uh, again, somebody else, I've been wrenching on this guy uh, in years past. Um, basically all of the, the knobs and everything I'm going to be replacing uh, you know, for your wiper switch and your light switch, ignition and all that stuff, the bezels and everything, they're all cross-threaded and, and uh, they were a bit of a bear to get out, um, but uh, we'll be replacing all those. And then, uh, of course, uh, new uh, New insulation, new sound, new sound barrier insulation all up front and uh, down through the floor. Um, up on the ceiling is this kind of cardboard. Cardboard is basically just again sound deadening kind of thing. Um, we're going to take this carefully. Take this out. Um, I've heard that this um, may have asbestos in it. Uh, I was reading on a couple of forums and. A couple of people have mentioned that, so uh, we'll definitely have the the respirator masks on and everything. Just carefully take this down, and there's a um, a couple of products you can get. Uh, one's called uh, Hush Mat, and it's basically a thermal and sound barrier uh, mat that it literally, literally just it literally just sticks to the roof, um, and so we'll just. We'll take all this out and we'll replace that with with some hush mat, and that'll uh, that'll fix that right up and get that stuff out of there. Um, and right back in the back corner, uh, maybe you can see that one rusty spot right there, right underneath the rear window. Um, so uh, we'll be tackling that uh, when we uh, when we get to taking the rear window out and clean that up and we'll get that all get that little piece placed in there um, other than that that's pretty much all there is for the interior uh, again um, body wise she's in pretty good shape um, you know of course biggest thing being the quarter panels and that but other than that there's not a heck of a lot we need to do other than cleaning and repainting and all that kind of thing And, uh, man, I guess lastly, um, the doors themselves, um, I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with the doors, um, from the respect that the, uh, the door pins, the hinges, uh, the door pins and the hinges are still solid. There is no movement whatsoever in the door hinges. Um, there's no up and down movement. It is, these, these doors are, again, surprisingly solid. Let's the light here. And the doors themselves, both doors, close nice and nice and easy. There's no big rattle to them or anything like that. They're just solid. Um, and, uh, of course, a little bit of work to do on the doors. 
uh, spot right here. Uh, should be able to splice in a piece right there. Um, the rest of the door is not too bad, at least on the outside. Um, probably have a little bit of work to do here. Kind of see we can. Uh, you can get for these doors. You can only get um, for these doors. You can only get the bottom part, bottom door skin. Um, it's only about I don't know, three inches wide or something like that. Um, so we'll be getting uh, we'll be getting a couple of those, a couple of those, just to put in, and we should be able to just kind of splice in what we need. As for the rest of the door, the worst part is just these seams. You can kind of see where it's uh, get the camera in here. You can kind of see where it's all bulged up here, and this is where that bad spot is on the other side. Kind of see that. Um, we got definitely got a little bit of work to do there uh, to get that all cleaned up. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with the seam part. Um, the, uh, the optimum part, of course, would be to you know carefully you know you, um, take a take a grinder, you grind down this edge, and then kind of carefully open it up, and then you could you know maybe maybe replace get a piece that'll maybe you know about yay wide. That'll kind of come down. Tricky part is again you're getting into body lines, and that's that's the tricky part. Uh, trying to do this stuff, um, but uh, other than that, the rest of the scene is actually pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm going to have to get a pair of doors. Um, it's just this is the worst part, right in here. So uh, well, we'll see what we can figure out anyway. Um, again, watching some YouTube videos, seen some, seen different guys doing different things, and so we've got some ideas on, on how we can do this. Um, kind of, but again, doors are nice and straight, nice and straight, and uh, close nice and nice and nice and tight. So anyway, um, that is. Basically, the majority of the stuff that we got to do. Um, the uh, front windshield needs to be replaced, as you can see. Uh, all cracked up and everything. Got one spot on the left door pillar. There's a crack right there. Not quite sure what's going on with that. Um, but we'll know better once we've got the windshield out and then we'll do some grinding and just kind of uncover stuff and see with hopefully maybe it's just a uh, hopefully just something we can weld up or what we got to do um, firewall again solid no problems with it no, uh, no rusts no holes everything's good um, this is the body mount that is over top of that little floor area. There's a, I was talking about earlier. It's right back in here is basically where all the dirt and everything got right in there and it just sat in there and just kind of rusted the floor out. So we're not going to have to, we're not going to have to cut into this at all. We'll be able to cut from the other side, just, just through the floor itself. And then just put in a little square patch right in there and uh, it'll be right as rain. So yeah, there we go. Um, again, same amount of work to do on the other side. Uh, pretty much almost exactly the same rusted out areas, uh, including on the door. Um, not quite sure how that happened, but basically same thing on the driver's door. So anyway, um, so what we're basically going to do is we got to get some parts ordered. Uh, we're actually going to order the the uh, the floor the two floor sections uh, those two mounts uh, supports and the two uh, trunk drop downs and uh, once we got those in and uh, and I've got an argon bottle for my welder uh, we will start digging into her and uh, we'll get her done so we will uh, we'll see you on the next video talk to you later.